Well, at the end of the day, it's the people that build the project. You know, it's not, uh, it's not reports and it's not drawings and, uh, and it's not necessarily machines. It's the people. So the people need to, you know, it's about investing in the people to have the information and the motivation to, to do what we know needs to be done to get the outcome that we're after. I'm John Vita and I'm one of the construction managers here on the ECD project. Um, my responsibilities include, among other things, uh, the crushing operation which is behind me here and the quarry and the two saddle dams. At the time that uh, the selection process was going on for the non-owner participants, I was on a project in Albury and uh, my parent organisation is Abbey Group and I've been involved in a number of alliances with Abbey Group. So Abbey Group is one of the constructor non-owner participants. Uh, was interested in having me involved in the team to see what value I could add to the team in, during the selection process. So my involvement started then, in you know two years ago now, and uh, my role has morphed to the point where we've you know come to the delivery phase of what is a fairly exceptional project, and I'm part of the team for that project. So I've been with Abbey Group for near on 15 years and uh, I've been on a variety of projects, predominantly road projects, but ironically the first project I did with Abbey Group, which was in 94, was a dam project out of Lisco. So it's sort of as if I've gone full circle now. We've got a fairly diverse range of experience in the team and, uh, and because this is there's a fairly unique set of activities going on here. Even the, the crushing plant that, that's behind me, there, there aren't too many crushing plants of that scale in the country. So, so all of these things create their own unique challenges and, uh, and it's a matter of ensuring that uh, the team that I'm responsible for deliver the best outcome. So it's supporting my guys to have uh, the knowledge and to think about the things they need to be thinking about to get the best outcome for the project. And that's more than a full-time gig. So even in New South Wales at the moment there'd be a dozen road projects going on around the state of varying sizes. Um, it's a particularly busy time for the dam industry at the moment, but there are still only two dam projects in New South Wales with potentially a couple more. So these sort of things don't come up very often. Uh, ECD, the, the scope of the project here is a once in a generation sort of opportunity. Also uh, one of the other unique things about the ECD project is it's quite close to civilization. Typically uh, dams are built in fairly remote locations and uh, it's uh, it's pleasing to be, you know, close to a major centre like this, doing an exciting project like this one. There's a bit of adrenaline, you know, it's the organised chaos. So there, are, there aren't two hours or two days or two weeks that are the same in this business. So it's, uh, it's an ongoing constant challenge and there's a certain amount of thrill in that. Uh, projects like this don't come along very often. And in fact, you know, while road projects are road projects, they all have their subtle differences as well. So, so it's, that, um, it's that sort of, you get a rejuvenation every time you go onto a new project because it's, it's something new. You know, I sort of feel sorry for people in, when I go, and go into a bank for the bank tellers, you know, it's the same environment they're in every day, dealing with the same sort of problems. You know, it's very process orientated. Here, you know, we have a certain amount of autonomy to, to come up with the best solutions in a really challenging environment. 